Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great and rare destination trailer value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're going to look at more of an upscale destination trailer than I've been shooting lately. Today is a 2014 uh, Forest River Wildwood. This is the DLX, which is the deluxe model, 39 FDEN. It's 41 foot total length. Weighs about 10,000 pounds, got two huge slide outs. In fact, the main slide's almost 20 feet long. And this is more the upscale than some of these other ones I've been doing. It's got the 84 inch tall roof. It's got Corian countertops, leather furniture. Uh, just pretty much like I said, this is it's a nice camper. And destination trailers, for those of you who are not familiar with them, are basically big travel trailers except they're designed to be lived in and designed for everyday use. Now, there is such a thing called a park model, and a lot of people get it confused. Park models are 12, 14 foot wide. Park models, you have to have wide load permits. You have to have a semi-truck move them. Park models don't have plumbing as far as tanks. You have to plumb them all in. In park models, you have to have a separate heat and air unit like a house. They don't come with it. Um, this is the destination trailer. This is designed, basically, it's a towable, um, self-contained park model is the best way to describe it. This is eight and a half foot wide, so you don't have to have wide load permits. You can tow it with a pickup truck that's, as long as it can handle and it's rated for at least 10,000 pounds, you can tow it, plus the weight of whatever you've got inside of it. Um, it's got its own heat and air system built in. It's got its own holding tanks, just like a regular travel trailer. It's just basically a big travel trailer, but it's not designed to take the lake for the weekend and set up and break camp. I mean, this is designed to put somewhere and leave it. So for those of you wanting something to live in, here you go. This is a nice one too. And for what you're going to spend renting an apartment for a few years, we'll pay for this thing free and clear where you rent an apartment after three or four years, you've got nothing to show for your money. This way, you got a paid-off camper. Looking around it, folks, this it's a big boy. Uh, but the striping and finish looks great. Tires look great. You know, you can underpin these for wintertime use if you want to, but they are better insulated than a standard travel trailer, so they are designed for year-round use. Got, got excuse me, 30-amp power. Back, uh, the back corners look great. And folks, for those of you who like the idea of this but don't have a vehicle to tow it and you're going to set it up somewhere and leave it, we do offer delivery service. In fact, it's free up to 100 miles one way for those of you who are local. And if you, of course, are setting it up farther than 100 miles, contact my sales department. They'll get you a quote on delivery. It weighs roughly 10,000 pounds before you add anything to it. So keep that in mind. You put... You put 1,500 pounds of stuff in here, it's going to weigh 11.5. So, of course, we've got plenty of trucks that can handle this and then some. Got big picture windows in the front. It's a front lounge model, but it's got a lot of extra sofas and sleeping in it. Got a big awning. It's got that 84-inch tall roof, which you're really going to like, especially for a long-term use. You can see the outside is great. It's got the metal siding, which I'm going to tell you something, folks. This metal siding, the advantage of that over fiberglass, I know the fiberglass, everybody likes the look of it, but guess what happens when fiberglass gets several years old, especially if you leave it outside without covering it up? It starts delaminating and looks like crap. That's where the fiberglass glue lets loose from the backer board, and it causes great big bubbles in the side of your camper. And Very, very expensive to fix, and uh, they all do it. It's just a matter of time. You don't have to worry about it with the metal siding. I mean, this is how they've been building campers for 60 plus years and for a reason. Got outside speakers, got an awning. A 10 gallon quick recovery water heater. I think that's a 16 gallons per hour model, so that should be plenty for a shower and a RV since they don't have high pressure water spigots anyway. You've got two entry doors, one into the back bedroom. And you got your main sliding glass door, which is pretty much a um, a sign of a destination trailer it, it, when they have that um, sliding glass door. And you can put a deck out on it and more. Folks, this is the way I look at it. Let's say you've got in-laws or parents moving in with you for the long term. 
let's say they're old, they're retired, or you got kids coming out of college, going to live at home for a couple more years while they get their career going and get a house and all that. This is the way I look at it. You can put this in your yard or buy you a piece of property, put it somewhere. And let me tell you something, folks. You can take your existing house now, build a living room, add a living room to it, add a kitchen, add a bathroom, add its own heat and air unit, its own uh, water heater, its own plumbing system, bathroom, and all that. Try to add all that, folks, for 30 grand. You couldn't even, I mean, 30 grand barely covers the foundation if you build a guest house. Well, right here, folks, for $29.9, you've got everything ready to park it wherever you want to put it. And, folks, for those of you who are wanting to move to our area or, or live in our area, if you need help purchasing a lot to put this on, let me know. I've got connections. Um, you know, of course, it would be a regular real estate transaction. You'd have to get a real estate loan or pay for it. But I do have connections to get you a, a decent lot somewhere for a decent price. And that goes for either a destination trailer, fifth wheel, whatever you want to put, an unrestricted lot. So let me know if you're interested in that. But anyway, put this somewhere, leave it. You know, I know a lot of people buy these to put on lake lots and mountain lots to go up to on the weekend. And it's a whole lot cheaper than building a cabin or something like that, folks. So definitely got its advantages. And plus, it is hard to do, but it is movable. So if you ever had to move it, you can. And even if you don't have a vehicle, if you'll let me know, I know some retired drivers who have dually trucks, so they'll be happy to move this for you for a fee. Anyway, 41 feet long. It's eight and a half wide before you put the rooms out. That main slide's about 42 inches deep. Let's look inside. And I like this layout, folks. And you can see it's more the deluxe model. Like I said, it's got the Corian countertops, man-made marble. Um, leather furniture. You've got two sleeper sofas. So you can sleep six. But here's the advantage of having this much space. You've got plenty of room in here to put an air mattress or two if you need to. If you've got occasional guests. You've got a table and chairs. Now here's the thing about this furniture, folks. You've got all this space and you can take this door out. You can take this furniture out. You can put your own furniture in here. Make it your own. This is all factory in here. It's got the day-night shades. got the curtains. got the really nice glass front cabinetry. You can see it's got the... The nice design on the wall boards and stuff. I mean, it's not just a plain Jane White camper. Got the backsplash, got the stove top and oven. And of course, it's got the thing you always want if you're going to live in one. You want an electric refrigerator. Contrary to popular belief, folks, RV two-way refrigerators that run off propane and electric are not made for everyday use. You use them every day, they're, not, they're only going to last you a few short years. And when you got to replace them, they're a minimum $1,500 plus labor. Well, electric refrigerator holds twice as much food, cools twice as fast, and lasts at least twice as long as an RV refrigerator with everyday use. And if it ever goes bad, it costs about half what an RV refrigerator costs. Just go to Lowe's or Home Depot or Sears and get you a fridge that will hold, that will fit in that hole. So definitely some advantages to a destination trailer over a standard park model. Like I said, you get the big fridge, you get the higher roof, you get the sliding glass door. I mean, this is something that somebody could easily live in for a long time, folks. Carpets look great. Linoleum looks great. Table and chairs. That air feels great. Got a residential style ceiling fans. No smoke, no pet odors whatsoever in here, folks shows very very little use now i don't know the exact history behind this this particular one like i do a lot of them because this is one we actually that was a trade-in on a new rv that we bought so i don't know the exact history i don't think this has been a live-in unit it doesn't show any of that live-in wear and tear or odors stove top doesn't look like it's beat up like it's been overused got a microwave Surround sound speakers and more. Let's keep let's keep going on back here, folks. This is a big one. Got a central vac system, it looks like. Step in here, you got a really nice enclosed shower. 
a glass enclosed shower. You've got a big closet right here. You've got the RV toilet since it is self-contained. So it does have black tanks and gray tanks and a fresh water tank. You've got a sink, medicine cabinet, really nice solid wood cabinets. Everything's enclosed on the side. So if you're in the restroom, you've got full access to the entire camper. Step back here, you got a really nice cozy bedroom with a lot of extra storage. Got a Queen Island East-West bed, Serta mattress, like all Wildwoods come with, because Forest River is owned by Brookshire Hathaway, who also owns Serta Mattress Company. Um, you've got a uh, little makeup area right here, or a, or a desk office area, or both. If you're going to live in one, it's nice to have a place to keep your computer and to pay bills and things like that. Well, there you go. Of course, you got overhead storage. Big windows here. I've got the shades pulled right now, but plenty of windows back here. Look over here. You got a big closet and your own entry door from the outside. Tons of drawers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 12 drawers down here to keep stuff in. Storage underneath the bed. Leather headboard. I mean, it's got the residential style door if you want to separate the bedroom from the rest of the coach like i said folks it's more of an upscale got a great insulation factor it's a four seasons model designed to live in comfortable leather furniture you can put a tv right here um, i don't think it's ever had one because it's got the tv backer behind the wall panel and there's no holes drilled into it so right there tells me they probably never had a tv in it Which amazes me. Now, I never understood this about RV manufacturers, folks. These RV manufacturers, this thing's probably 65, 70 grand new. They got all this nice equipment, Corian countertops, big fridge, ceiling fan, central vacuum. But the manufacturer won't install a TV in here. That, that just, uh, you know, unless you order it that way. I just, they never understood that. You would think when something gets over a certain price point and a new one that it would include something like a TV. But it doesn't, so... Anyway, folks, this unit is $29.9 for 2014 FDEN Wildwood DLX Deluxe model. Look at the, the light fixtures in here, folks. I mean, these aren't just your regular camper light fixtures. These Everything in here is nice. Um, like I said, weighs 10,000 pounds. Delivery's available. Financing's available with approved credit. Let me tell you what all you get for $29.9. Which, if you look online, this is a very, very fair price considering the condition and the amenities this unit has. $29.9, this unit, uh, you get this really nice and clean, hardly used 2014 Wildwood DLX FDEN by Forest River. Or front den, FDEN. It's 41 feet long, 8.5 wide, plus you got about a 36 to 42 inch deep slide out. And you got another bedroom slide as well. It will be checked out, ready to go after purchase. That's right, folks. This is how it came in. We haven't checked it out. All we did is I plugged it into power. We put the rooms out. I turned the air on. I turned the fridge on and turned the lights on. You're looking at it just how it came in. So you can tell how, how well it was kept. And after purchase, folks, the way it works, after you purchase this RV and pay for it, it goes in line to get checked out. Right now, we can check a destination trailer out in about a week, week and a half, but you want to verify that with your salesperson before you decide to buy it because that changes day to day depending on the workload in our shop area. We don't check them out until we sell them because that reduces labor costs, but I don't have to hire as many RV techs. That reduces overhead and it's basic economics. The less overhead a business has, the less markup they have to have. That's allowing me to sell this for this low price. And let me honest, be honest with you folks, we, we've experimented with pre-checking these units out. We have so many people that walk through these things every week, customers, that it doesn't do us any good. Uh, if we check it out two weeks later, we got to check it out again if we sell it because customers come in here with kids. They, they use it like a, like a playground. And we're certainly welcome to children as long as they're behaved, your children. But folks, these are somebody else's property, ours. And people don't respect them. I've come into RVs that were checked out, and people will steal parts off of them. People will will leave stuff on, run batteries down. They'll. Uh, I had a guy 
uh, pushing on a Class A diesel door, one of the ones that locks when it's open, you have to pull the handle. He's over there, he's probably my size, and he's putting his whole weight in that door instead of pulling the handle where it closes, and he bent and warped the door frame. Cost probably going to cost us thousand dollars to fix it. So, folks, keep that in mind. That's why we don't pre-check them. You know, we have a couple hundred of customers a week that walk through these things. It doesn't do any good because it's best just to check them. And when they're done, we lock them up until you get here for your demonstration. Then we show you how to operate everything and show you everything works. Because, um, and I know most of you watching this video respect other people's property, but you'd be surprised people that come in here that don't. Anyway, ran over, but anyway, that's two of the main reasons why we don't pre-check these things because it's pointless and it's expensive because I have to hire more shop help. More shop help means higher overhead, higher prices. and Nobody benefits from that. Anyway, uh, after purchase, it, this unit will get in line to get checked out. Once it's checked out, ready to go, and my service manager is satisfied with the quality of the uh, uh, the mechanical components of this camper and the cleanliness of it he's going to call you and he's the only one that can call you to set up an appointment salesperson can't set an appointment for pickup i can't set up an appointment you can't set an appointment only the service manager can and once he calls you to set up a time that's mutually beneficial you're going to come here at uh at that appointed time RV tech that checked this unit out will have it hooked up to power, have water in it. He's going to go through it, have propane in it, go through it, show you everything works, how to operate everything, show you anything he had to do as far as repairs, answer any questions you have, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, and if you're picking it up, he'll help you hook it to your vehicle. And make sure you've got the proper safety equipment. If you need to know what your safety equipment needs to be, contact your sales department, tell them what kind of vehicle you're driving, what you're looking at. And please find out before you use camper shop what your vehicle is rated to tow. You ask 10 different RV dealers what your pickup truck can tow, you're going to hear 10 different answers and not a single one of them will be true. Call your vehicle dealer, ask for the service department, give them the VIN number and ask them what your vehicle's travel trailer towing capacity is. Write it down, have them email it to you or fax it to you on a company letterhead, keep it in your truck. That way you always know because it is the buyer's responsibility to know what their vehicle can tow. Don't ask us, folks, because we'll tell you right off the bat it's an insurance liability. If we tell you your truck can tow 10,000 pounds and it can only tow eight, you get into an accident towing 10, guess what? You're going to sue us. We let the customer find out for themselves what their vehicle can tow. In fact, if you ask us, any of our salespeople here, they're instructed to specifically not tell you what your vehicle can tow. They're going to tell you what I just did. Uh, like I said, you can look on the Internet. You can get a good idea. You can look in your owner's manual. Sometimes you can get a good idea. But always call your vehicle to, dealer to verify what your vehicle can tow. Better safe than sorry because, folks, if you ever get into an accident and you're towing more than your vehicle is rated to tow and you cause an accident, the insurance company may not cover the damage to your camper. I've had it happen to two different customers of mine over the years, and that's why we came up with this policy of not telling the customer what we think their vehicle can tow, because it is a liability. Anyway, um, you get all of that, plus you get a 90-day nationwide limited warranty. So you get the checkout, you get the inspection, you get a complete walkthrough demonstration, you get a 90-day warranty, nationwide warranty, so... For those of you who live out of town, you don't have to bring it back to us unless you just want to. You can find a dealer in your area that takes the warranty and they'll service it too. Um, we pay for that just to give to you. So that's at $29.9 plus you get, to, uh, plus you get a drive out tag, you get a starter kit with all your camping essentials and you get a 30 day, or excuse me, then you get an instructional DVD as well. If you got any questions about that, folks, give us a call. That $29.9 price with all those services included is haggle free firm. We did away years ago with haggling. Nobody likes haggling. Now, if you are the rare person that likes to go back and forth haggling, the price is $36.9 and we'll start haggling. But if you want to know what the money is to buy it, no BS with all those features, it's $29.9. You get the warranty, you get the inspection, it's a worry free, stress free option. Only thing you got to do is show up, pick up your camper. I mean, it's as easy as that. Um, but for those of you who still want some kind of discounted price, 
what we have is what we have, we'll call option B, and that's an as-is price. Option B, you buy it just like it is in the video, just what it is in person, no checkout, no inspection, no walk-through demonstration. We'll show you. Sorry about that, folks. Had to uh, change my memory card real quick. What I'm getting at, folks, option B is as is. Take the good with any potential bad. No warranty, no inspection, no walkthrough, no demonstration. Basically, buying the camper, hooking it to your vehicle, and going only. Uh, you still get a 30-day drive-out tag. You'll still get a starter kit with your camping essentials and a DVD, an instructional DVD. But, folks, that's it. Um, and keep in mind, there's no excluded systems from the as-is rule. That's actually a legal term. That means buyer is 100% responsible for any repairs that this unit may need, current or future. So if something's wrong with it, you take it home, something don't work, don't call us. You bought it as-is. And I'm not trying to be difficult, folks, but you'd be surprised at grown adults out there that don't understand what as-is means. Um, anyway. And if you're willing to buy one under those conditions, we're certainly happy to give you a discounted price because, A, it saves us money and time uh, and money, and then B, it saves us time. So we can pass that along to you, and you can pick it up the same day you pay for it. You don't have to wait for an inspection. And be honest with you, folks, I'm not going to recommend any more option A or B because everybody's got different opinions about what condition a 2014 model destination trailer is supposed to be in to be considered nice that's just what makes us human folks everybody's got different opinions so i'm going to let you come and look at it in person you be your own opinion how nice this camper is or how not nice it is i think it's very very nice my opinion with 20 plus years of experience in this industry this thing is a nine out of ten it's well above average but again folks the next person that looks at it may call it a 10 out of 10 and the next person call it a 1 out of 10 everybody's got different opinions about what condition a 2014 used trailer is supposed to be in so definitely um, I'm going to let y'all be the judge of that so come out and look at it as always folks call ahead and make sure this unit's still available before driving any distance to look at it just because it's online please do not assume it's for, still for sale you know, all it takes is five minutes, a phone call, and a credit card to take it off the market. And we don't actually remove the ad from our website until the deal actually closes. So just because if, if you call ahead, something's got a deposit, don't lose hope. Nine out of ten times, yes, when they have a deposit, it's going to close. But there is always that one out of ten chance. So still leave your contact information with the salesperson in case the deal doesn't go down. And I never delete my YouTube videos. I've got 2,400 videos going back to 2010. I keep them on there to help our Google search rankings. So that's why I tell you folks, please call ahead and make sure it's available before you drive down to take a look at it. That way, nobody's wasting time. Nobody's got hurt feelings. But I keep in mind, I've got several other destination trailers in stock as well. So in this price range and below. So I promise you folks, you come here and look in person with the current selection I have now, you're probably going to find something you're going to want to buy. I mean, that's pretty much a gimme. Financing's available with approved credit, minimum 10% down payment. Uh, keep in mind, folks, banks consider these luxury items. They don't consider them a home. In fact, if you tell a bank you're going to live in one, they're going to turn the loan down even with a perfect credit score. So keep that in mind. Um, if you got any questions about financing, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, you can get sales help uh, as well on that number. Now, I have a 24-7 operator-assisted uh, answering service after hours, and they have basic information. If they can't help you, uh, they'll get your contact info, send it to our sales team, who will contact you the next business day. Folks, we've been in business for 50 years. We've done away with everything everybody hates about buying a used RV or used any vehicle. We did away with commissioned salespeople. Everybody here is on salary. Everybody helps each other. There's no sales pressure, no games, gimmicks, trouble, drama, BS, or any of that stuff. No lies, nothing like that, because my guys get paid exactly the same no matter how many RVs they sell in a week or if they sell any at all. Our buyers prefer it that way, our customers, because you don't have 
to deal with all the haggling and, and all that junk you do at the other dealerships because they use commission salespeople. Our salespeople like it because they know exactly how much money they're going to bring home to their family every week. In fact, most of my salespeople here are former commission salespeople, and they've made the switch to non-commission, and they love it three to one over commission. So definitely can help you out there. There's no fees. You know, you go to these other dealerships, they make your, you make your deal. They start adding on thousands of dollars in setup fees and prep fees and dock fees and freight fees and acquisition fees, corporate fees and tag and title fees and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, folks. All those fees are a scam. They're 100% dealer profit, just a way to get you to pay more money for it so they can make more money. At Parkway RV Center, 50 years in business, we have no fees. Remember, folks, when you buy any used or new vehicle, the only thing by law you're required to pay is the price and the applicable sales tax. And if you've got a question about how much your sales tax will be, when and where you have to pay it, sales tax laws are complicated. They vary from state to state, and some, in some states, county to county. So make sure you call us beforehand. Tell the salesperson where you live, and he'll get you a sales tax quote on what your tax will be and if you pay it to us or if you pay it to your local county's tag office or tax commissioner. Like I said, folks, it's way too many complicated laws to guess on that. That way there's no surprises for me or you. Thank you for watching, folks. Remember, nationwide delivery is available. This is a nice rig. Probably one of the nicest destination trailers I have as far as condition and amenities. I mean, this thing is just... You just have to see it to believe it, folks. Come out, look at it. As always, call ahead and make sure it's available. If you set up an appointment, ask your salesperson if he has time to plug it into power to run the air for you so you can cool off. You can do your own inspection on it. And I always recommend, folks, always look at a vehicle before you buy it. Any used vehicle, whether it's a camper, a motorhome, fifth wheel, a boat, car, truck, uh, SUV, if it's a van, if it's a motorcycle, jet ski, whatever it happens to be, folks. You always want to look at it in person before you decide if you want to buy it. And in our situation, come out and spend some time in it, get to know it. Plug, we'll have it plugged into power for you if you, if you ask us to. And um, you can see what works, what don't. And then you can decide if you want to do option A or B. That's as fair as I can be, folks. Now, I certainly appreciate the trust that so many people put in us as a dealership to buy from us sight unseen. We sold over 200 units last year to people we never even met, never shook their hand. They never came here. They bought completely over the Internet. They didn't know what they bought until it pulled up their driveway. They paid for it, had it checked out. They had a, they had a delivery service bring it to them. And they never met us, we never met them. And I, I appreciate that trust, folks, but we are old-fashioned. We prefer to shake hands with who we're doing business with, to let you meet our employees, tour our facility, look at our inventory. That's the way buying and selling should be, folks. That's something we've lost in this day and age. But like I said, we've been doing this for 50 years. We've seen the RV industry in all aspects of it, the good and the bad, the, through the good times and the bad times. So give us a call, 706-965-7929. Visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. I've got a 24-7 chat and text feature on there. I also have, uh, you can apply for financing, get your trade-in appraised, and everything else right from our website. If you got any questions about that, again, folks, always best to call us. Our phone number one more time, 706-965-7929. Or you can email us sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.